It is Tuesday, March 26th. Um, I am on my way to get groceries on this rainy day. But I would rather it rain today than on Saturday. And right now it's still showing that it will be nice and sunny and warm on Saturday. Um, I have a lot that I need to do over the next couple of days. So I want to have the majority of it done over the next, well, I want to have the majority of it done, sorry, before Friday. And literally whatever I need to do on Friday be like what I cannot do until Friday. Um, yeah, however I can minimize my stress level in finishing up the details of this event is what I want to do. Um, so I need to go to my usual places, Sam's, Walmart, BJ's. So I need to get groceries for the house and I need to get um, the food that I'll be preparing for the brunch. Um, trying to find these rods for Tempe. I want my baby's drapes to be up. Um, was not successful at Home Goods yesterday. And like I said, well, honestly, I'm not going to say it's difficult to find um, double curtain rods in gold or brass or whatever. They're either, to me, more than I want to pay for them, or two, I don't like the color of the gold or the brass. It makes it look cheap. So, um, I actually thought about just getting the ones that I found at um, Pottery Barn, no, Pottery Barn Teen, not kids. Cause I can get the rods that I need for under $200. But um, it's saying that we would not get them until like May. Um, well, it depends on the link. There are like two or three different options. Uh, one of them won't come until May. The other one won't come until July. I don't want to wait that long. So I may have to get on Amazon and see what I can come up with um, later this evening. Um, probably won't do a lot of recording right now just because it's raining. Well, maybe when I get in Target, I do need to go to Target debating if I'm going to go to Bath and Body Works. Today is the mini sale. So, um, all of the minis are $2.95 and I was considering getting a few for prizes. Um, I really wanted to get some little chapstick. Um, some little chapsticks for the girls to put in the eggs. But, um, they're too big to fit in there. And I don't know where I, I forgot earrings. I don't know where I would find any that were um, small enough to fit inside of the eggs. And I don't wanna have to buy more eggs. So there's that. Um, so I think the options they have, I'm trying to think what all I've purchased so far to go in the eggs. So they have hand sanitizer, um, fruit snacks, Skittles, Starburst, M&Ms. There'll be money in some of them, like $1 bills. Uh, and I wanna get some little lip balms. I wanted to get some mini nail polish. Oh, I have some cute little butterfly clips to go in some of them. So, um, they were some clips that were left over from Tempe's birthday party. So I'll be using those and some of them. I think that's enough. Like there's literally only one little boy coming. I really hate that. I invited um, one of the other little boys from Tempe's pre-K school, um, but his mom has not responded to the invitation. And he's usually the one that is coming. He's usually the, the only boy there. There are not any boys in our neighborhood that I can think of. Um, but let me run in this big lots. I will pick back up a little bit later. It is Wednesday, March 
27. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I know I look crazy, but I've still been pin curling my hair up even though I've sweated it out. I just don't know what I want to do with it next. Like, I don't know if I want to get it straightened again or if I want to get braids, but I need to make a decision today. Um, at any rate, I'm in here working on uh, these eggs for this brunch and this egg hunt. And it's organized chaos right now. So uh, I just made some coffee and I'm about to try to get everything a little bit better organized just to make it easier to get out of the house. And I need to look at my to-do list uh, for what's left. I started feeling a little bit of anxiety about it this morning. I don't know why. Um, it's really just something to do for us to have fun with our uh, family and our friends. So I don't know why I'm stressing about it. And this is what I do for a living. So I don't know. I think I get more anxiety about the stuff that we do at the house than I do like weddings or other events. But anyway, um, started putting the baskets together, started filling the eggs. So yeah, I feel like I need to organize everything a little bit better to assess what it is that I have left that I need to get. Um, Did not do the pantry. I've not done the pantry yet. I don't know if it's going to get done. I just don't. I was so tired yesterday. What did I do all day yesterday? Uh, so yesterday was Tuesday. I went and bought groceries. That's what it was. So I went and bought groceries. It was raining all day. So that just made it like more of like a, ugh. like, I don't want to do this. I think I left the house at, it was before one. I got home a little before, I might've got home right at five. Um, I did not have to cook dinner, thank God, because I grilled um, some chicken Monday, Sunday or Monday. And we used some of it in what we ate for dinner Monday. Um, we ate salad last night. I have no idea what we're going to have for dinner tonight. I need to figure that out so I can take it out of the freezer. And then um, we went to go get, what else did I, I cleaned the kitchen. I was washing clothes. Um, we left out to get uh, Jamie's waffle maker. I don't know if I've mentioned, but Jamie has been wanting this waffle maker from William Sedona for forever. And it's a Breville, so of course it's not cheap. But I gave him a gift card for Christmas. Um, and then I get my trade discount. So uh, we should be able to get it for under $200. But uh, it's a four square, I think they call it Breville Waffle Maker. It's the only one he wants. He's done all the research. We went to go get it because he really wanted to get it last night so he can make some waffles this morning. And he didn't have the gift card. So um, I was supposed to be going back to get it today for him while he's working. He asked me that I want breakfast for dinner. I do not. <laughs> um, yeah, I got a lot to do. And I'm trying not to stress about it because it's not supposed to be stressful. It's supposed to be fun. So let me show you what I got going on in this dining room. Then I'm gonna try to organize it a little bit. And then I need to clean the bathrooms, put up the dishes, vacuum upstairs, finish washing clothes. So, oh, um, I don't know why. Okay. I just need a little bit more light back here. I mean, I still look crazy, but that's okay. Uh, so let me show you what I got going on before I start uh, getting some order. All right, so these are the baskets, the eggs, the prizes, the games. It's it's a lot, like it's a lot. 
Um, this is why no matter what I am working on, the minute that I make a decision that I'm going to do an event, I start planning. I make a list of everything that I want to um, purchase, um, how I want to set everything up. So uh, I know it seems like a lot and it is a lot, but I mean, in order to do like a proper egg hunt, you need a significant amount of eggs, especially depending on the amount of kids that will be attending. Um, yeah, I still, side note, I still just haven't wrapped my ra mind around the Dollar Tree actually being $1.25 right now. I know uh, it's been, everything in the store has been $1 um, since the beginning of time, and I know that it was necessary for them to go up. But that extra 25 cents starts adding up very quickly. <laughs> um, so I kept going back and forth about the baskets that I wanted to get this year. Um, and I felt like I was overthinking it. So I was like, Trey, just get some from the Dollar Tree. So where these would typically be a dollar, you know, once you start adding it up. So I looked at some at Five Below. They were just regular buckets that had like a plaid print. They were actually a dollar. These were $1.25. So whereas I would have spent, I think $16 at Five Below, I spent $20 at the Dollar Tree. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, I just felt like I wanted to just go ahead and get them. So there's just these cute little bunny baskets. And these over here are the ones that I had left from last year. The ones with the little uh, bunny and the bunny tail. Um, side note too, something that I also wanted to share. Some of this cotton candy I actually got last year. I went in the Dollar Tree after um, Easter was over and they had this cotton candy still in there because they probably got it like later. Some stores were still putting stuff out like after Easter. Um, I think I mentioned it previously about these Peeps tumblers, which were originally $3.00. So of course they had kind of like a surplus left over after Easter, so I, um, they were 150. So I bought some to use for this year. The um, cotton candy was like 60% off, and it actually was still good um, for this year. That's the only reason why I bought it. I think this is. I don't know if this is one that I bought recently. So yeah, you see, it's still good until June 2024. Um, I bought a few extra tumblers this year, which are the lavender and the green color. These eggs, like I said, I had from last year because we didn't get to do the egg hunt because it rained all day, um, the day of our Easter brunch. Um, so yeah, I have all my receipts to calculate everything, but like I share with any event that I do, there's always a way to have like a quality event that people can enjoy without spending a lot of money. For one, you have to prepare in advance. Um, so that gives you enough time to like have everything the way you want. You have to have a budget. There has to be a budget. Um, and then like whatever you decide, which is something that I'm still working on, stick with that. Um, as far as budget and as far as like your stress level stick with whatever you said you were originally going to do um i think last year i did a lot more in the baskets i was not going to stress myself this year about doing it i think this is a great like so they get cotton candy they get a tumbler they get crayons and they get candy um and uh i have some cute little peeps treat bags left from last year, all from the Dollar Tree. That is always my first source. Um, obviously the candy I bought in bulk from Target, I bought it all when it was on sale. Um, so the Starburst and the Skittles came together. The Blow Pops, I think the kids are getting Blow Pops in their um, actual bags that will go in their um, Easter baskets. Dollar Tree. Um, the Reese's eggs are from Target. But I bought those on sale. Um, yeah, a lot of this 
you just have to plan. Um, this, I think I had in my drawer upstairs. I have a bunch of little random pocket back holders from Bath and Body Works that I buy when there's a sale or I have a coupon or whatever the case may be. These little lip glosses, I only buy all of this stuff when it goes on sale. I do not pay full price for this or I use a reward. So I think the original price of this lip gloss is like $8.95. I would never. Um, so when all of the lip glosses went to $2.95, I bought a few because I was like, oh, this would be um, a cute option. I thought I was going to be able to put some of these in some of the eggs. So I just had to end up making them prizes. Hand sanitizers, I buy when they are a dollar. Body care, I buy when it goes on sale for like $4.95 or $5.95. And I really just save it because I like to give it to my clients as well as gifts. Um, so yeah, I just have a drawer of like candles, body care, hand sanitizers, things like that. So if I need to put together like a gift or like a package for someone quickly, I can. And if I want to add something else to it, like a, a personal element or whatever, depending on who it is, I can do that. Um, but I just have the majority of what it is that I want to put um, together for a gift. These gift bags, these little treat bags or whatever you call them, favor bags. The pink ones are from, I think I got two of them from like BJ's and then two of them are from Walmart. I want to say less than 40 cents a piece. The plaid ones came from Walmart. I think you got 12 for like $4. The ones with the bunnies on them are from BJ's. I think those were like $4. I got 12 of those. Um, so yeah, I have been planning this pretty much since last year after the last one ended. You see a lot of this stuff is left over from last year. Um, so anything that I'm purchasing for even how I decorate is going to be stuff that I know I'm going to use over and over again. So like these things up here, I will spend a little bit more money on uh, just because I know I'm going to use it in my home and I'm going to use it over and over. I'm not buying a new seasonal decor every year. I will not. I might buy a few things um, to add to what I already have, but I'm not going to completely start over. That is very expensive and I do not have the space for it. Um, so, um, yeah, this is what I got going on right now. So I'm going to try to organize this a little bit better. Like I said, to make it easier, um, to just get everything out of the house when it's time to put the eggs out. So like this crate, you see, I've got all of the eggs in this one crate. So when it's time to put all the eggs out, I can just pick that crate up and take it outside. These crates are from Ikea. I have two large ones. And then I have two small ones over here. Um, I do not remember how much they cost, but they do still have them in store. And they just really come in handy for a lot of random things. So I may use these um, to put like tea light holders in there, um, tea light candle holders in there for a wedding. Um, I think that's all I really, I think I've talked enough. Let me go ahead and start getting all of this stuff together. I am finally out the house. It is almost two o'clock, um, but I was trying to get a lot of stuff done around the house before I actually left out and like have a plan of action. My first stop is Shoe Carnival um, to get Tempe some um, shoes. So they have the kids vans on sale for $29.98. So I wanna get her a pink and white pair and maybe another like pastel color. Um, I'm hoping they'll have some in her size in another color besides the pink. Um, if not, I'll probably get her the black and white if they have them in her size. Um, uh, what else do I need to do? I need to do a return at Target. That's right here. Um, I need to go get Jamie's waffle maker. I need to go to the Dollar Tree. I did a drive up order at Target. I need to go to Walmart. So luckily, pretty much everything I need to do is in the same vicinity. It's like within a two to four mile radius. Okay, make sure, make sure you stop, baby. Um, it's in a two to four mile radius. 
so um not too far from the house and then when i get back i have to finish organizing um all the stuff in the dining room i still didn't vacuum upstairs yesterday i don't know how i forgot that um i'm thinking jamie's gonna cook tonight i think we're just gonna have spaghetti something really quick to make um, I have no idea what I'm going to do to my head. I wanted to try to make an appointment to get my hair braided, but she is booked up until April 2nd. And that's just not going to work out if we decide to go to North Carolina because we're probably going to leave on Sunday after church. Um, is that it? That's all I can think of right now. So I may pick back up when I get inside shoe carnival. It is Thursday, March 20. watching it even though he was still um he he fell asleep so i was up until 12 o'clock still watching it and then i was like Trey, turn this tv off so yeah um normally jamie gets up with timmy before me um so um he lets me sleep in a little bit later but the past few days i've been getting up while she's getting ready. Because um, I pick out her clothes and I didn't pick them out last night. So I got up to pick out what she was wearing today. Um, yeah, I really wanted to lay back down. So I see a nap in my future, but um, we are in the last 48 hours before this brunch. So it's a lot that I need to do try to prep as much food as I possibly can tomorrow. In two miles, take the exit to merge um, onto I-20 East. Just so that I don't have a lot to do on Saturday since the bunch is starting at 1.30. Uh, so yeah, pretty much strength. I need to get some flowers, I guess, for this table. Yeah, I don't really have a plan. I did organize a dining room last night though. That was the other thing. So I cleaned the bathrooms. I organized the dining room a little bit better. Got some order in there. I finished sweeping. There were sprinkles under the buffet from our Christmas party. So yeah. Uh, and then we were thinking that we were going to go to North Carolina on Sunday after church. I don't see that happening. So we wanted to go because Tempe's spring break starts this Friday, technically. It's officially April 1st, but it starts on Friday. So we were going to try to go to Jamie's parents' house on Sunday after church. Um, and then um, stay there for the week and then take her to the beach on like Friday. Just stay Friday night. We'll go Friday morning because Jamie's off. And then... Um, Maybe do some shopping at the outlet, see if we can find some things for Timmy for the summer, some some things for me and for Jamie. And then I don't know if we we're going to go back to his parents' house and leave on Sunday or leave from the beach on Saturday. I don't know. So that's not going to happen because we got to take the chairs back on Monday. So we're thinking about leaving Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't know. I'll get back. I guess while I'm getting my hair done, I'm gonna make a list of what I need to do while I'm already out. So I will pick back up um, after I'm done getting my hair done and I don't even know what I'm getting done. 
All right, so we just got to Chick-fil-A. We were about to go in here and eat dinner, run to BJ's and get some bacon, and then head back to the house. Oh, actually, I forgot. I got, We got to get Tim a new toothbrush. I kind of threw hers away. Because it was broken. It is Friday, March 29th. Happy Friday. Um, it is the day before our Easter brunch and egg hunt, so a lot to do. I've already uh, started checking some things off my to-do list. I uh, want to get some stuff done around the house before I head out for the day. I need to wash these dishes back here. Um, I want to make the centerpieces for the tables. The bathrooms are clean. I need to vacuum our bedroom. So, like, not a lot, but still, I don't want to get overwhelmed. So... Um, I'm trying to think if I need to wash anything. Um, I think I'm going to print out some more bingo cards because I bought stamps and I just realized like, obviously if they're using stamps, they're not, um, they're going to have to get new cards with each like round. I'm thinking we could do maybe at least four rounds of bingo. Um, so I need to print out another set of cards and then, uh, I'm going to make, the floral centerpieces and then I'm going to head out for the day we have to pick the cupcakes up later this evening we have to pick the chairs up tomorrow so like I said I'm gonna try to do as much prep work as possible I'm gonna try to record as much as possible today and tomorrow I'm gonna try to get as much as I possibly can tomorrow I made a playlist um, of, of the music I put all the games together for the kids and for the adults. I already know what I'm wearing. I already know what Tempe's wearing. So, yeah, I just have to get it all done. Uh, so, I'm going to set up my stand and uh, make the centerpieces. All right, so this is what we got going on today. I cleaned off my desk. I took everything off and wiped it off. My flowers are just hydrating. Um, I bought these two. They're, they're actually uh, like plant pots that I got from Ikea yesterday. I don't think I recorded anything in Ikea yesterday. Um, I've pretty much organized everything like this. These are some extra eggs and candy. Uh, I'm probably going to fill the rest of these up tonight. Um, there's actually only going to be girls there for the egg hunt or here for the egg hunt. Um, one of our friends that was supposed to come, they had a death in their family, so, um, they will not be here. And she actually has, um, a son. Like I said, literally everybody in our neighborhood has girls. Um, so let me just walk through here. These are the games for the kids. These are the games for the adults, all of the eggs, just to make everything easy to take out. Um, this is some stuff that I'm going to put in the yard. And I wanted to show you. Um, so I have this cute little sign that I've had since last year. And then this yard sign. And then I also bought this from um, Michael's last year on clearance. And Jamie and I were going to like cut it out. I just don't have the mental capacity to do that. So I'll save that for another year. Um, but yeah, I've actually bought two of them. So one has pink balloons and one has yellow. So you have to purchase four. You, uh, you have to basically cut out the frame of the bunny. So it only gives you like basically the template. It gives you the balloons. Uh, but you have to buy foam boards to cut it out. Really cute. But um, so yeah. This is what we have going on today. Uh, so I'm about to start putting everything together. And then I think from there, I'm going to wash the dishes and head out for the day. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting. Oh, my camera. Completely forgot. Um, I got this yesterday. I need to buy some film. Did I get this yesterday or the day before yesterday? Either way, I got it from Target. It went on sale. I had $15 worth of gift cards 
Um, it was on sale. I think the original price is $79.99. I got it for $69.99, then $15 off with gift cards, and then 5% off um, for having a Target red card. I think that is it. So let me get started on the flowers. So I want to show something that I'm about to do really quick. Um, based on a video that one of my friends sent me on Instagram. I've not been on Instagram um, like that lately. But she sent me this super cute idea on how to make um, little carrot, um, little carrots out of oranges and limes and you freeze them. Um, I do not have the time for that, but it, it inspired me to use these trays. Um, last year, I just put water in them and made regular ice cubes, but this year I'm gonna put orange juice in them. So I think that's a really cute idea for the mimosas. So super inexpensive and it adds a nice little detail, again, that people will love. Um, so these are just like little bunny tails. I got these ice trays from the Dollar Tree. I'm about to pour orange juice in here. Um, so I'll be able to make 40 at one time. Hopefully um, they'll be ready in a few hours so I can make more, but you should only need like one per mimosa. And I just thought this was a really cute little detail to add um, that I love. And I don't know why I didn't think of it myself before. I'm hoping that this will make it easier to fill them up. too much in that one. I think before I actually put these outside on the table, I'm going to cut some of this greenery and fill in in some spots. Um, I was thinking I was going to back to Trader Joe's this morning to get more flowers to fill in, and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna do that. So it's really just a few little spots. Like, I don't know why my tape is coming up right here, but I need to cover that little spot up. Cause when you're sitting down, oh, problem solved so yeah I don't want um, anyone to be able to see the wire so I'm gonna just kind of bring that down a little bit 
Oh, uh, but yeah, other than that, everything looks gorgeous. Ranunculus are probably one of my favorite flowers. This one. Why don't you want to show your beautiful face? Like, why are you leaning over like that? Okay, we'll fix that later. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to get as much as I can outside now. The sign, the egg hunt sign, the yard sign that says Happy Easter. Uh, I don't know if we're going to go ahead and start putting the eggs out now. I'll ask Jamie if he thinks we should once he gets downstairs. It is a little chilly out here right now, but it's supposed to get up to like 80 today, I think. So I'm pretty excited about that. This one? Okay. 
Blue bunny. Okay. Free space. Okay. Okay. Basket. You got it. It is March 31st, Resurrection Day. Happy Easter. Happy Sunday. Um, we had a good time yesterday. I was a little bit stressed, but it all um, turned out beautifully. Um, I only got to do the egg hunt and one game with the kids, and that game was chaotic. Um, I didn't. I don't. I didn't get any footage of them hunting for the eggs, or did I? I did get a little bit of footage. I think. Um, I did not get any footage of the adults looking for the eggs because I was upstairs um, trying to like bring everything outside. Like we started setting up a little after nine, went and got the chairs at 10. So it was just a lot um, that needed to be done before um, the event started at 1.30. Everybody came at different times. So the egg hunt did not go the way I envisioned it. But I think everyone still had still had fun. Uh, I think my mistake was not putting until. I don't know if that would have made a difference. But I put 1.30 and I didn't put an end time. Um, and I should have put an end time. So if we do it next year, I definitely will be doing that. It was a perfect day yesterday. Um, it was not too hot. And it was not. Like, it was pretty windy. The wind kept blowing the tablecloths off the table. But once we started putting stuff on the tables... They were still trying to blow off, but they weren't completely blowing off. They were blowing up from the bottom. So we had to take the tables and put um, the legs onto the end of the tablecloths. Anyway, but the breeze was like neat. It was, it was a perfect day. Um, I think the kids had fun. I did not get to show Tempe's outfit. Uh, I'll probably show hers when she's dressed. I'm gonna show mine uh, real quick. We need to be heading out soon. It is before, I think it's still before 8.30, but um, church starts at 10 and we want to make sure that we get um, a good parking space and that we don't feel rushed. And you know, Easter Sunday is when pretty much everyone comes to church. So I'm gonna show my outfit and then I need to take a shower. So this is my dress. It's actually probably my favorite dress that I own right now because it is in my favorite color. So um, this dress is from J. Crew. Um, it came in three different colors, but I absolutely had to get the yellow. I do not remember how much it was because I bought it at least four years ago. I've worn it quite a few times already. I love everything about it. There's absolutely nothing I would change. Um, and then I'm wearing these shoes from Non West, which actually used to be my favorite shoe designer. I haven't actually purchased anything from there lately. And as you can see, I have these shoes that are in my favorite color as well. Um, I forgot what these are called, but love these. They came in some other colors too. Really comfortable. It's just a sling back and you can see it has, um, it's clear on the side and the material is suede. And then I'm wearing these earrings. Where did I get these earrings from? These earrings are from Kate Spade. Hi, Sweet Pea. Happy Easter. Good morning. Um, yeah, earrings are from Kate Spade. So. It's, it's Easter today. Okay, let me get dressed and get Tempe dressed. Uh, and I will try to pick back up when we are on our way to church. You want to turn around, Tempe Pooh, and show everybody your Easter dress? <laughs> okay. Subscribe and like bell to click on Mommy's videos.